a lot of people don't realize that you can actually use Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on, on your Mac for free. There's a way to do it. Let me show you how. So you don't actually have to download the Microsoft Office for Mac apps onto your Mac in order to use it. You can use it for free at office.com. This is Microsoft website. They've rebranded it as Microsoft 365. And what you're going to do is if you don't already have a Microsoft account at all, you're going to click sign up for the free version of Microsoft 365. If you have an account with Microsoft, you can just click sign in up here in the corner um, and that will, will get you in if you've already got an account. But if you don't, go ahead and sign up for a free Microsoft account here and walk through that process. Once you do, uh, you can go up in the upper left-hand corner. You'll see all these dots. Whatever your screen looks like, you should see that if you're logged into Office. And then Microsoft 365. And, and that's what that page looked like. So you've got every kind of option you might need here for very basic use. Uh, for example, a Word document. You could go over here to Word or just says Create New and, and start out right here. And you've got a lot of the same functionalities. In fact, most of the same functionalities that you are going to have on the downloaded version that you pay for. There's a couple limitations. Uh, there's no spell check uh, or grammar check, um, things like that. And so those are little things that you've got to keep in mind. But there are, you know, there's templates you can use. Um, it'll, it'll drop things in for you like this and, and it, it's fine. If, if you are a person who normally uses Apple Pages for your document creation or Apple Numbers or Apple Keynote, which personally I enjoy using a lot more than the Office products, but you just occasionally need to use Office for things, uh, maybe you've got someone else who uses uh, Word or Excel, you can just use this free tool for that. Uh, the limitations beyond the uh, spell check or grammar would be the amount of space you have. So when you go back to the home page, uh, it, uh, it says, look here, you've used this much room of five gigs. It's a free account. You've got five gigabytes of space. And if you really got into heavy usage of this, you'd want to definitely upgrade and just go ahead and get the apps, I guess. Um, but for most people who are using the Apple suite of products and you don't need to use this very often, this is a great way to go. And Excel's the same way. Uh, you can open up a, a new Excel document. Um, I've got one set up here. And all the same kind of things. You can format the, the cells to be what you need, just like in the app. And, and so it's very similar. And uh, so I recommend this if you just need some basic use. Maybe you're just converting a document from Apple Pages to Word, and you just want to take a peek at it and see how it looks. And this is be the way to do that. So that is it. Now, um, I've got another video I should link right here that shows you how to convert an Apple Pages document to Microsoft Word. And uh, in that video, I talk about you know how to look at that document after you've converted it in Word. Well, you would use this free tool on office.com, uh, office Microsoft365.com. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you click that like button, it always helps. Thanks. <laughs>